Hello, Mike here. I was asked to share a testimony with you and I was praying into which one I should share. I've been a member at Limitless for about five years and you know my journey has been pretty amazing. Um, and so in my prayer I said, well, you know, Lord, would you please, you know, help me identify which one I should share and would you please give me the words to say it, you know, authentically and in the way you'd like me to say it. And, and then finally, Lord, would you also be completely responsible for its impact on everybody and be in control of all that, how it is received, in other words. And, and, uh, and what I realized is, you know, what's my part in this? And my part in this is that you know, I'm acknowledging my Lord Jesus Christ as my God and my person who I believe will provide me with, with those things. And that's something that up until about a year and a half ago, I, I really wasn't that good at. So uh, my testimony really is that about a year and a half ago over in the youth hall, um, during the upper room, you know, the year before we had the tent, uh, I had a, a very powerful encounter with the Holy Spirit it was very affirming, and uh, within a couple of days of that, I, I had recognized uh, a belief that I, have, that I had accepted as true, that had been with me for, you know, as long as I can remember. And that belief was essentially uh, that I just wasn't, wasn't good enough. And there was a lot of insecurity connected to that. And so a couple days after the encounter, I had this other encounter where I just saw very plainly that that was not of God and that was not for me. And I saw that I was delivered from that, that that was, that was no longer part of me. And I was so surprised uh, that I could have been fooled and deceived for as long as I had been and so grateful and relieved that I'd had this experience. And so I was going along and a couple of days later, I felt this headache coming on. I was at work. <clears throat> and I realized that it had been a couple of days since I'd had a headache. Well, I, I had had a headache for over 20 years up until that point. Almost every single day of my life, I was reaching for Advil two or three times almost every single 24 hour period of my life for about 20 years, a little longer then. And I realized the headache had been gone for a couple of days. And so in the next moment, I felt the presence of the Holy Spirit. I felt Jesus asking me in essence, if I wanted to be cured of that, if I believed that I had been cured of that headache. And I wanted to <laughs> be sure of my answer. Um, and I thought about it for a minute and I realized that I had been healed, I had been cured, not just for a couple of days, but I believed that he had cured me of that for the rest of my life. And as fantastic as that was and has been, what I realized is he wasn't asking me whether he thought he could cure a headache. I know he can cure a headache. I've always known that and so much more. He was asking me if I thought I would, he would cure my headache. And that was a big difference in the way I'd been thinking about my relationship with Jesus. And in the past year and a half, it's been, um, you know, just something that, um, that I've really tried to honor. My belief, my trust, my yes, um, these things allow me to be in a minute-by-minute -minute relationship with, with my Savior, Jesus Christ. And it's made just a wonderful difference. Not just in my life, but also for my family. Um, it's been a year and a half. Uh, I have not, uh, there was a week in June, I, I fell and I hit my head and I had a headache for a week. 
last June. Before that and since that, I have not had a headache. I have not had to take Advil. It's just an amazing, an amazing situation. And I thank the Lord Jesus Christ for that. I also thank my Limitless family. It happened here at this place at Limitless. It happened during a Limitless worship service, an upper room service. And I'm sure that if I didn't have uh, fellow Christians with me, helping me and supporting me, um, I just don't believe it, it really would have happened. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.